Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of The Venture Bros, Season 7, Episode 5. So, after this one, there is five episodes left. That's scary. <laughs> but we do get a movie, and of course I'll be doing reactions to that. Well, a reaction to that. Anyway, um, link is in the description if you want to see the full unedited reaction to this episode and a lot more episodes of this show and a lot more episodes of a lot of other shows. Um, and yeah, all social media links, you know you know that by now. If you knew here, yeah, other links are down there. Just check, check them out if you want. Um, so yeah, let's just get this now and have some fun. Grand Theft Auto Vice City! <laughs> Flash <laughs> FM! Will you warn me when you're gonna Mad Max? I'm trying to finish my opening speech. Yeah, the remasters of Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. My god, they are. I love the games, but they need some more attention. I probably should have led with this, but what is going on? <laughs> Take this the wrong way, but we were all pretty shocked you accepted our request. Well, my father officiated the first summit. Can't let the old man show me up. So it's either me or uh Dean. Ow! Second <laughs> bell! Dude! I'm right here! <laughs> Red Mantle! Author of the Articles of Treachery! That's me! All three volumes! Dragoon, <laughs> overseer at the execution of the Iron Infidels. Hmm? I don't recall that happening. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Special Agent Brock Sampson, Slayer of Henchmen par excellence. Corporal Snoopy, owner of a Toyota Camry <laughs> in stunning Blizzard Pearl. Yes. <laughs> I have this plastic dome on my head, with tubes coming out of it. Can't help you, buddy. No need. The modifications to my brain function as they... Okay, bye. I mean, that's one way to introduce yourself, I suppose. Maybe put it on your Tinder or Grindr bio. See if you get any bites. You're pissing on my leg and telling me it's raining! Just one agent dispatched to a level five engagement? One! <laughs> One agent is plenty. We're talking a level five. That's like a guy called Mr. Cold with a snow cone maker on high. You're afraid of a level five. One agent is too many, honestly. I mean, if you explained this show to somebody who had never seen it before and said, oh, there's villains and heroes, but they go through, like, a committee and they've got to, you know, attack certain villains and heroes, I don't know I'd be able to sell that. I mean, obviously, there's the, all that crazy fun stuff, but if it was just on that alone, I don't know if I could get people to watch it. But it is absolutely amazing. But at the same time, it's so ludicrous, but I love it. One agent dispatched to level five failures. It's a gift. Take it. You're throwing up in my hair and telling me it's shampoo! It's no deal! One. You're shoving your hand up my ass and telling me you're Jim Henson! We want two agents! <laughs> wow! And having adult birthday parties. Also, sleeping late was appreciated. All was reasonable. Till the day man turned on his electronic slaves. All of the helpers were destroyed and never spoken <laughs> of again. Forgotten like so many Tamagotchi pets. Oh my god! Tamagotchi! Oh my god! So many Nintendogs have died. Okay, yeah. I'll take the hot pants. The face, off limits. This is what brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> I can't find anything about this in the original treaty. Yeah, what? Again, explaining this to somebody. What? Can't be sanctioned. It is our way! My dear boy, it was your father who invented this tradition! Uh, of course you had a swimming pool back then, but it's basically the same thing. <laughs> so begins the pool battle! Okay, why not? Dude, hide! What's you? 
I, I don't even see a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Your robot friend is beautiful. Oh, that is funny. How many claws am I holding up? Do you mean the clone thing? Wait. Yeah, so you do know. Yeah, Ben told me, but I'm a clone of me. You're something new. Yet we were both made by great men who were compelled by love and guilt. We are second chances. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I'm not sure if that's Taika Waititi or somebody else, but it sounds a lot like him, but also sounds a lot like the guy who is in Jumanji. In the last one, he was flying a plane or some crap. What are they doing now? They're still making out. No, wait, dude. He's going for second base. Let me see that. Oh, yep. Under the bulletproof vest, over the sports bra. I'm saying it counts. That's yeah, OSI issued bra stuff. They're super complicated. He's got to say, just good enough and move on. And that counts as second base. So, I mean, is is this like that kink? Are they just into watching people smash? <laughs> Scientists invented cell phones, Ziplocs, and every cool thing you own, thank you. Let's stay on topic. Mad scientists. Scientists that have gone over the deep end. How can anybody call them good guys? Good guys? Did you just say that? Are we using good guys and bad guys now? Yeah, let's stop dancing around and acting all politically correct. We're talking good guys and bad guys, and we all know it. That's how you see us, <laughs> bad guys. Ah, so he broke his arm. So, does that mean sure leave one? What was that sound? That! What was that? That's just your feet. Oh, this was a bad idea. I can't do this. These woods could be crawling with religious fundamentalists, ready to stone me to death because I'm not mentioned in whatever book they quote from. There's nobody here. You're perfect. <laughs> oh, God, that is dark, man. But yeah. My amygdala has been rerouted through my cerebral cortex. You could kill my dog, and I wouldn't get upset. But don't. Bailey is a good boy. How could you? You ruined everything with that PP belt! Please, Agent Kimberly McManus, will you let me explain? So, has he got a belt that says PP on it, or did he actually pee on his belt? Oh, but I say we deal with this like we used to back in the day. Sniper rifles? One to the brain? What? No, psycho! We go tattle on him! <laughs> yeah, the OG plan. Let's do it. I suddenly get it! Your children. That's why my dad put you in the pool and made you duke it out. Newsflash, my dad was a shitty parent. But when my boys cry about fairness, I remind them that fairness is the philosophical tooth fairy. There is no fairness. What'd you guys come here for? Um, Thigh, not guys. What did you children <laughs> come here for? Oh, yeah, I mean, you can't really say guys when there's ladies present. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head there. <laughs> Unfortunately, I kind of missed the summit, but I found out how similar we are and that your dad may have been a worse father than you. Wait, I thought you said you missed the summit. I love you, Pop. Oh, that's that's nice. <laughs> I mean, you prefaced it with, you know, um, you, your dad was worse than you. We didn't say you are definitely a bad dad, but still. Why are you wearing sweatpants? Bed. Hello, we have a mole. Ah, so it's actually yes, it's not actual urine then. <laughs> I'm gonna level with you. I haven't a fucking clue what was going on in this episode. I mean, I do, but also I don't. If that makes sense. But it's still a great episode, still fun. But yeah, weird. Um, I'm excited for the next one. I'd, I'll have to go back and watch this one and pay attention properly because obviously when I'm doing reactions I'm, you know, pausing it and not taking it all in as I should. So I'll have to go back and watch it. But I did enjoy it because, well, I love this show. It's fantastic. Uh, so yeah, five episodes left, everybody. Um, I'm equal parts excited and sad, but we're getting a movie and I'm happy about that. But yeah, as ever, thank you for coming out and for your support. And I'll see you all again very soon for more The Venture Bros reaction videos.